Now, local lawmakers gathered in Berkeley today to address the situation that's unfolding in Ukraine. Our Charles Clifford was there listening to their remarks. He joins us now live with more details on what was said today. Good afternoon, Charles. Hello, yeah, so uh, earlier today, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Congresswoman Barbara Lee both addressed the crisis in Ukraine. This is an assault on democracy. Speaking in Berkeley on Friday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi expressed outrage at Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The number of civilians that could be killed under this circumstance, as well as the number of military on both sides, for what reason, for what purpose? How do you explain to the mothers of Russia that their children are coming home in body bags uh, to humor uh, the uh, whatever of the president of their country? She also showed support for President Biden's handling of the crisis and reaffirmed that the U.S. will support its NATO allies but not send troops into Ukraine. We are not going in. He is not, he, Putin, is not going to provoke the world into uh, the, the uh, NATO and the rest of us into World War III. If that's his goal, he will not succeed. If his goal was to split NATO, he has failed. NATO has never been stronger. East Bay Congresswoman Barbara Lee also spoke on Friday. She sits on the House Appropriations Committee, and she says Congress currently has a team in Poland working to assess the humanitarian crisis so that Congress can put together a package to provide relief to the people of Ukraine. To make an assessment of what we need to, to know, what we need to do, how much funding we need to look at to make sure that this humanitarian crisis, uh, that we're prepared for because we know uh, what is taking place right now. All right, uh, Congresswoman Lee there also said that they are assessing uh, what aid if, uh, is necessary for potential refugees in the weeks and months ahead. But for now, in the East Bay, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Thank you, Charles. And to follow all the latest developments in Ukraine, scan this QR code. It will guide you to our website, and that's where you can get all the resources you need, including ways that you can help the Ukrainian community.